God. Uh, that man here, that man's log start A14.6391. You know, I'm just a man, yeah? An ordinary man with uh, many hats. Yesterday, I was walking, um, well, just here, only a little way from where I'm staying with young Chris, and uh, I met a guy who'd been rambling for, well, he said a couple of hours, all, all over there, all over there. And um, we had a quick chat as we passed, and then I just went further up along the way and just let the dog run up and down the lane, and we played a bit of um, fetch and return stuff, so that was nice. But then, um, on the way back, the guy had stopped um, for a cup of tea on that bench. And we spoke some more, and, and he asked me if I'd like a cup of tea, and I said, no thanks. And, uh, but it was very kind and generous of him. Generosity is something that seems to be missing these days. And he explained that he used to walk with a lot of his mates when he retired. But it got to the point where his friends had now died. And there was only one other left, and uh, he had kidney cancer, so his days were numbered. And it just got me thinking about, you know, of all my mates and friends and family members and stuff, yeah, we're all going to pass, really. So it was quite sad for that guy, and he said he kept walking because it was kind of like a, a not, not like an honour, but uh, in remembrance, remembrance, sorry, of his mates. So... I don't know, I don't know what we can do in remembrance of our friends where they're gone. But I spoke to another guy yesterday, yesterday evening, um, and uh, he was telling me about his granddad when he died. And he lived around here, and his name was Arnie. And he told me about a stone that he'd had uh, made, for him to, made for him, a remembrance stone. And I just want to show you what it is. So let, let me show you. Um, it says, I don't know if you can read, it says Arnie. Uh, it's like a crossword. Arnie across the top. Enthusiastic, sterling, gentlemanly, inspiring, and super dad. And it's got me thinking this morning. If you had a stone like that with a crossword, what would be the first two words you'd want on there? The first two. Anyway, um, I'm drowning here. In the Peak District, so hat man, an ordinary man with many hats, out.